process state transition is the topic in this particular session. So, whenever a process executes, then the process can be found in multiple different st state and this particular state can be of different types. So, using this particular diagram, we shall discuss the process state transition. So, whenever a process will get birth, that means when the process is a new process, so it will be found in the state new. Then the process will be coming to the ready state. Ready state means the process will find itself in a ready queue where the process will be waiting for execution. In my previous video, we have discussed what is a process, how to define a process. The basic and fundamental definition of a process which we discussed was a program in execution is known as a process. So, when the process will get admitted, then the process will be found in the ready queue. So, you know the queue data structure that is first in first out. That means when the process, obviously the process will be joining at the end of the queue or at the rear end of the queue. When the ready queue, in the ready queue, when the process will be found at the front, then when the CPU will become available, then a dispatch operation will take place and this particular dispatch will make the process from ready to running state transition. And when the process will be in the running state, then the process will be executing. But during execution, during execution, some incidences may happen. Let us suppose we are executing this process in a round robin scheduling. That means multiple processes are in execution and each and every process will be given a time slice also known as quantum. When the quantum will get expired, then when the quantum will get expired, then the timer runout will take place and the process will have a transition, state transition from running state to the ready state. Then the process will be found at the ready queue. So that means when the quantum will get expired, quantum expiring, expired means the next process will get the chance to execute and this process will be found itself in the ready queue. During this running state, a suspend may take place. That means the process may get suspended and the, in that case, the process will be found itself in the suspended ready. So that is another state transition it may take place. Say a process cannot take place, cannot get executed after say a certain time. So in that case, if the clock says yes, that uh, corresponding time has reached, then the process will get suspended and it will find itself in the re suspended ready. And when the favorable event will take place, then the process will resume and it will come to the ready state. Let us suppose when the process was in the ready state, then that particular time has come. So now the process cannot get executed. It will get executed after some, uh, some time which has been mentioned in the system. Then from the ready state also, the process may go to the suspended ready. So here we are having two state transitions. One is the resume and another one is the suspend. During this execution, during this execution, the process can get blocked. During this execution, the process can get blocked. That means, let us suppose, the process is trying to do some input output operation, some IO operation. Then in that case, the process from the running state will go to the block state. And in this case, the process will wait for the input output operation. And when that input output operation will take place or whenever a process is waiting for some event to take place, then when the event completion or IO completion will take place, then the process will be found from the block state to the ready state. So that is another way uh, to get a process blocked. Now what is IO completion? That means the process is, is trying to read some data, some, uh, trying to read a file from the secondary storage. So that input output operation for which the process has been blocked. Otherwise say this process is waiting for another process completion. This process is waiting for another process completion or say another process will create one data file and this process will read the data from that very data file. So in that case, let us, let us suppose the corresponding data file has not been created yet. So the process cannot run. So the process will be found itself in the block state. When the favorable event completion will take place, let us suppose it is waiting for another process completion 
and the another process has completed then it will join to the ready queue so in this way this part i have discussed okay in the block state that means the process is waiting for some io operation completion or say event completion in that case the process can get suspended and it will find itself in the suspended blocked and from here the resume will take place it will find itself in the block state and when the event or io completion will take place it will come to the ready queue so this is the process state transitions are there so this is my new state admitted ready in the ready queue then dispatch means allocation of the cpu to the process so that the process can execute or run and then from here timer runout may take place timer runout means in case of say say higher priority process has come so this process is having the priority lower so this process will go to the ready queue and higher priority process will take over the charge of the processor during this running condition the process can get also terminated through the exit so this is the full process state tran uh, transition diagram i have discussed each and every transition can also be written in this particular notation so i have written this one so from ready to suspended i have written this one what is the operation operation is suspend so suspend this particular operation will be done on this process name and then the process will have the transition from ready state to the suspended ready state in this way the process state transition will take place so this is a very interesting diagram in which we have tried to put all the states in separate blocks and the transitions have got noted thanks for watching this video